Hey everyone, welcome back. It's your favorite South Florida YouTube realtor. And today, I brought you to somewhere different that we actually haven't been before, but I'd like to educate you on it. We're in Pompano Beach. To be more specific, we're in Hillsborough Shores, and we're showing you this brand new construction built in 2020, six bedroom, six bathroom, two half bathroom, 6,000 square feet. And as you can see, it's on the water. It's surrounded by water, and we're in South Florida, so it's very fitting, and it's a beautiful day as well. I'd like to give a quick shout out to the listing agent for allowing us to do this tour. And if you are a first time viewer of this channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And why not, while you're there clicking around, hit the like button, helps us out a lot. And on that note, let's go inside and get started. The walkway to keep you covered is just illuminated with these lights, these high hats above, it's really cool. And on top of that, the parking that you have when you come in here can easily pull out to here a few cars over here, and then just like how I parked, you get two cars right over there. But the best part is every time you come home, just water, water surrounded, and then one of the docks on this side, which is really cool if you have your boat parked up. You come home, just like give it a good kiss, good morning, and then go inside. And then you still have the two car garage right over here. So now let's go inside and get started. Wow, that's really cinematic of you, Alex. Come on in. So this place is just filled, filled with, filled with goodies and luxury. Right when you walk in, it's so bright and open. The windows literally go from the floor to the second story ceiling. And then a nice, just like welcome table. All the design of the staircase, everything just feels like a piece of art, but it's super functional as well. Right in front of me, before I even got two feet inside the house, elevator in my face to take you up to the third floor, because this is a three story home. So right here you have the garage, you have the laundry room on that side, and then you have a full maid's quarters with the bathroom, bedroom, and the bedroom kind of looks better than my bedroom. So it's a little, it's pretty crazy that that's just like a maid's quarters. Anyway, past the elevator, you're gonna start off with the half bathroom. This is half bathroom number one, tons of space in there. Let's not waste any time. Come further down, storage under the stairs. And this is where the tour gets really interesting. On my left, you have the kitchen. So follow me down here and just take a look. You have a transparent glass in front of the kitchen wall so you can see the bar and then see the water and you're not claustrophobic. The cool thing about this is it makes the kitchen feel really big even though it's a little smaller but it's very efficient. So you still have the full Bosch free range stove and then the vent above, the two Bosch appliance ovens. You still got your massive refrigerator freezer hidden behind the cabinets. And then you have a full, I know you guys like it, a full walk-in pantry. And I'm gonna walk in there because it's literally a walk-in. Oh, you think that's it? No. You don't have to follow me. You don't have to follow me. But yeah, full walk-in. And then if that wasn't impressive enough, you actually have like a service area back here if you wanna have like the preparation done over here, access to get out so they can not interrupt the events going on because you're gonna have a lot of events if you live here. And then as we come back down, passing all the beautiful storage, let's talk really quickly before we go on further about this dining room. So this is actually one of the bedrooms. However, how could you not make this the dining room? This is the dining room. You come in, you got that nice square shaped design and a corner section of water views over here, access outside if you wanna just eat and go outside and lay down after a long meal. And since this is a bedroom, you do get your full bathroom ensuite on this side. Probably changing this to a pantry would do a lot better and making this kind of like a guest cabana bath would be a great idea. But regardless, it's just got everything you need right off the dining room. And then we're gonna come back in. I'll show you real quick, if you wanna go this way, I'll show you how, how transparent it is. So you can, it's kind of still privacy, but it doesn't make you feel claustrophobic. You can clearly see outside. You could probably have conversations with everybody in the other room as well. 
and this bar, this bar honestly just has the views that you want to see every day. You come in, got your drink coolers down below, an extra sink, fridge, and then, I mean, look what you're looking at every day. Huge countertop. I actually prefer this to having the bar stools on the kitchen because of the smoke and the food and everything. But here, people can comfortably just hang out, have a drink. You know how it is, relax and vibe. And then it takes us into the main living space where you're going to spend most of your time. We'll start off in the less, you know, like less formal, formal living room. Got a great place to sit, hang out with you, some friends. This is where you have that discussion about the finer things in life. Hey man, did you see that new NFT that came out? I'm really impressed by it. This is where you have that cultured conversation and you're doing it while being taunted, if you will, by these water views. And then when it's time, when the business is done and you wanna throw on a good flick, I don't know, my favorite Scott Pilgrim. I know, it's weird, but this is where you do it. This is where you come and you have that casual movie watching, The fight, it's fight night. You got your friend who pays for the fight every night, shout out to Stuart, and you're just chilling watching it here. Got your TV, kick back with your friends, and even subtle things like this wooden panel design over here, like why'd they even do that? You know why they did it? Because it's classy and nice. And I just wanna take one more minute, I'll throw in an extra scene just to preview this whole open area. It's magical, I'm, it's actually happening so fast that I can't process it, but that's why we have photography. We're gonna come outside and take a look. We're going straight out. Might throw an ad here though, but we're going straight out. And before we do, I wanna point out that all these doors, that's right. What, oh, you thought that one door slid open? Come on. When you pay this much money for a house, you get these kind of features. All right, well you get the gist. I'm not gonna open them all. But when you come out, look at this. Look at your private oasis. Got the outdoor dining. The same lighting source that we saw when we walked up to the property. A few seats. You even got the jacuzzi with a little table for your drink and an umbrella on top. I'll pop this guy open. No, I won't. It's all locked up. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Because you know why we don't have to worry about it? When you don't want to be in this jacuzzi. How about this jacuzzi? This one should work for you. Got a nice rimless overflowing jacuzzi. And what's that? A second dock. You got two boats. It's been a problem in the past, storing. No more problems for you. All of that extra boat space. And then the best part is, it curves back down to this side. The pool gets shallow, and you have kind of just like the subtle tanning, lounging area for the kids or whatnot. And then it leads to the final, just outdoor hangout spot. On top of all of that, if we wanna walk down this way, I absolutely love, I love this feature. I love when properties have this wraparound dock because you do things like this. You come out here, you wave to people on their boat. How you doing? Yep, they don't wave back, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so you come out, you appreciate just like the mornings like this. I mean, what time is it right now? It's 9.17 a.m. and look at this. I can't stop smiling. It's a beautiful day. And uh, on that note, let's head back inside and take a look at the second floor of this property. Let's go. So follow me down this way. We're gonna head up the stairs. And even the stairs, as I mentioned earlier, like a work of art. Got the glass railings, but you also have the steel on this side. You can get that real good grip. Really nice. And it comes up. At the top of the stairs, you get another floor to ceiling window just to give you more natural light. And then it takes you up one more time. As you look back over, all you're seeing is palm trees flowing, water, the clear sky and we've made it to the second floor. Right here, got the elevator that takes you right up. 
and we'll start on this side. Here we have like a floor to room den, extra TV on the wall, and for this area, you get a full ensuite as well right over here. And then on my left, this is one of the first guest suites that we really truly got to see. So you come in, you got your walk-in closet on my left, and then it takes you into your open guest bedroom. Windows going all the way around as they should be. Even the little detail as to put turf grass on the ceiling over here so you're not looking at raw concrete. Just little touches like that. And the cool feature they have is that to see into the bathroom, you have a glass wall. And I'm sure that's just to get more natural light when you're in that tub, you're looking straight out, you're not blocked in by a wall as you normally are. So enough yappity yap, let's take a look at it. This shower, I mean, how inviting is that? You know what kind of shower you're taking there? You're taking the most, this is the kind of shower you're taking in here, the one where you go, literally, I mean, I'm not getting out of that shower. Don't even call me, I'm putting my phone on do not disturb. Toilet over there. And then uh, this, are we in like a boutique shop in Melrose? I mean, look at, look at the lighting. It's insane, it's insane. The tub, I have to lower my voice for this part. You lay in here, peek over, water. Peek up, water, water everywhere. Light above, it's just, it's an impressive bathroom. <sighs> okay, so as we come out of here, we'll make our way across. On my left, you have the second true guest suite. Check it out. The same as before, walk-in closet, full ensuite and the room sizes in here, because we are sitting at about 7,000, 6,000 square feet. Crazy amount of space in this bedroom. Coming down to the hall, we have yet another guest bedroom. This one, unlike the others, has access to the balcony, views of the open water, and a private ensuite as well. It's got the works, the walk-in closets in here, not to waste space in the main part of the bedroom. And then this is where the master bedroom is. And this is something else. So follow me, come on in. This is where the magic happens. There's two sides to entrance. So we'll come in on this side and take a look. Take a look at this. The bed is just centered directly in the middle, speakers above. The views wrap around all the way down into the bathroom. So the reason they put this glass wall here is because you can use that window as lighting and just see every, so you basically have 270 degree views, if not more. I think the angle's a little wider than that. And it has a private balcony over here. Look at that. Look at that. And this ain't no small balcony. This thing stretches from one side all the way to this side. I mean, look at this glorious day. Here in Pompano Beach, absolutely insane. And I know what you might be thinking. This is the kind of time where I'll end the video, absolutely not. We've probably seen two thirds of this house. I just wanted to really emphasize this part of it, even down to the, the privacy of the water over there. All the homes around here just have that class and, and history behind them. And on top of this, we're so close to the beach that I can smell that water. on in. I like this TV stand. It's really mid-century modern. I might, might get that for myself. No, I won't. It's probably really expensive. So anyway, in here, I mean, walk-in closet? How about you have a guest New York studio bedroom apartment in here? I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's bigger. But you know what? If you were not convinced that this is a big closet, how about this one? Now we're in a two bedroom New York studio apartment in Manhattan. I mean, kitchen, bedroom, you know how it is. Enough of the theatrics. As we come in, you got your two toilets hidden. Why are we even looking at toilets? It's a luxury tour, we're not looking at toilets. But check this out. This is actually the walk-in shower. All that walking I just did. You know, normally it's like, oh look, oh like big shower. No, this is the length of the room. I can take a shower right here if I want. You know what I mean? Like it, it's crazy. It just drains the middle 
this huge piece of glass, this huge piece of glass. So when you're in the shower, you're just taking in all those views. How about crank this window open, open the doors up and really get to appreciate it while you're taking a soak in bath. Just the elegance, the faucet, two sinks masterfully placed right over here. And then the vanity has this huge window and oh my God, this, holy, that's the best smelling candle I've ever smelled. Just beautiful in here. So we're gonna come here and we're gonna take a look at the last feature. And this ain't no small feature. This is the kind of feature that separates a beautiful house from uh, the kind of house where you walk in, you go, oh, oh, oh. That's right, there's a third floor. That same window that we saw from the bottom continues all the way to the top here. So now the views are just tripled, doubled. You come up a little further, and of course, the elevator is gonna take us up to the top floor. Of course it is, right? Behind me, storage, just kidding. This is the second half bathroom, which is great. I mean, someone's up here having a great time. No need to make the trek downstairs. And how about this? How about this? This is what I call rooftop luxury living. Another place to have outdoor dining. Let me guess. Oh, they're not real. No, whatever. One cool feature I like to mention about this rooftop, unlike many rooftops that we have seen, right over here, this little section, you can actually see the lighthouse back in the distance over there. Just a staple, right? We're right next to Lighthouse Point, lighthouse right next to us. Are you seeing this? And as far as rooftop terrace space goes, this has got to be one of the biggest. This is the whole size of the floor of the house, but for the rooftop. Places to lounge. The turf grass, again, notice the turf grass because the cool thing about that is you're not looking at that raw concrete on the building. You're seeing beautiful, luscious, fake grass. And then you come out here, boaters driving by, a place to entertain, throwing birthday parties out here, weddings, anything. You can do anything out here. The quiet, the peace, no signs of traffic, the ocean smell and distance. I mean, what else do you want? What else do you want from me? And on that note, I'd like to say thank you for coming on this tour with me. If this is your first time on the channel, don't forget, I know you were heavily impressed. Hit the subscribe button. It only goes up from here. I'd like to give a second shout out to the listing agent for allowing us to do this tour. And if you have any questions about the property, you want to know more about the music, anything you want to know, it'll be in the description. And feel free to comment. Even if I don't answer your comments, I read them all. So if you say something hurtful, I read it. Keep that in mind. Comment something hurtful. And uh, follow us for the next one. Oh, I thought you were going to swipe the camera away. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs>